Thank you very much. Uh, so, of course, I would like to start by thanking the organizers of Model Awards, uh, Brian Sedic and all the others who decided to invite me here. Um, I'm glad to see that there are still people in the room despite yesterday's banquet and the heavy red wine. You know, personally, this morning I had difficulties to wake up, to be honest. But I, I will try to do my best to make sense uh, during this talk. Uh, my goal here is to share uh, reflections uh, based on projects that I've run over many years in the, er in the area of uh, software verification and testing. And uh, those projects, uh, most of them were run with industry partners in uh, various application domains. Uh, and what I will do is that I will go through some examples and try to draw lessons learned from those concrete project examples. Uh, most of the examples I will go through, because of course I'm limited by time, uh, will be from the automotive domain, but uh, I have run projects in all kinds of domains before, uh, satellite, energy, uh, aerospace, so. But I just happened today to use automotive examples. Uh, this talk is actually uh, an updated version of a talk I gave uh, last year at staff. So if you have attended my talk at staff, I suggest uh, one of two things. Either you go and get a coffee, or you take advantage of this opportunity to ask all the hard questions you couldn't ask the first time around. Okay? Um, so, first, uh, I would like uh, to give credit to all the students and postdocs and research associates that I've worked on over the years on the projects I will be presenting. This is, of course, not just my own work, but it's the result of uh, projects run with many other people. So uh, first, I'd like to clarify uh, terminology. As you know, the term uh, verification is used in many different ways, depending on the uh, on the community you belong to. So I'm using here the term verification in the widest sense possible. That is defect detection by any mean necessary. Uh, testing in practice is the most common verification technique uh, for a number of reasons that I won't detail here. And for those who are not acquainted with testing, testing is about systematically and preferably automatically exercise a system so as to maximize your chances of detecting latent faults within certain time and resource constraints. That's what testing is about. There are other forms of verifications as well. Uh, design time verification, obviously, uh, trying to find problems early on during the design process, 